Hello, so today it is Wednesday the 29th of April and let's start off with a quick fire round maths. Today we're going to be doing multiplication of whole numbers. So we're going to start off with 20 times 1, 12 times 0, 3 times 4, 8 times 2, 3 times 8, 6 times times 2, 5 times 5, 7 times 3, 3 times 4, 6 times 1, and 9 times 2. I think that was 11 actually today, or maybe 10, I'm not sure, we'll have to go, I'll have to go back and check, or well, maybe you can check for me, was that 10 or 11? Right, so I hope you learnt lots about sound yesterday and how the ear works and how sound travels through vibrations. And today you're going to have some, hopefully some fun, learning uh, more about sound and how it travels. Um, there are lots of different experiments that I've given you. Hopefully there'll be some things in your house that you'll be able to um, use and find to, to help you with experiments. If for whatever reason you don't have equipment and the supplies you need at home, then perhaps this is something you can um, do another time. I'd love to see some videos of the experiments that you do and have fun today. I will see you again next Monday and I can't remember off the top of my head what we're doing. So I shall um, have a look and put it in our final video for task C so you know what's happening next week. Enjoy your lessons with Mr Wise and I shall see you on Monday. For task eight, we are learning to investigate how sound travels. And today we're going to see if we can actually see sound. Can we see sound? So we're going to do an investigation to see if we can actually see the sound that we make. So let's warm up. Can you remind yourself of some facts of some facts from yesterday? How does sound travel? Can you remind me? Maybe press pause now and explain to someone in your family how does sound travel. If you're finding that you can't remember how sound travels, it might be a really good thing to look back at yesterday's videos and see if you can give yourself a refresher. OK, so your main task, you're going to be carrying out an investigation and um, here it is. This is um, the explanation, the explanation of what to do. And um, I'm going to show you how well, I'm basically going to do it myself in, in the next little video um, and show you if you don't have rice, as it suggests below, then you can use salt or sugar. And if you don't have an instrument, again, it suggests it in the um, in the bit below, then you can just use your own sound box, which is your throat and your own voice. And if you want to take it further today, then um, the question is, what would happen if you used a different instrument or sound? Okie dokie. Um, in the next little bit, I've, I'm going to show you a picture of what I used and a video of me doing it to, so you can see how I set it up. Um, it does get a little bit noisy because I use my voice and I do get a little bit noisy at times. So I've put in the video when you might want to turn the volume down or even mute me. Or if you don't want to see what happens, skip on to task B. OK, enjoy, have fun. So the first thing I'm, do, I'm going to do is get my cling film. And um, on the sheet, it does say to use um, an elastic band around the edge to secure it. But I found that um, the cling film is actually fine. Just make sure it's really tight. See how it's tight now around the edges. And that's absolutely fine. Okie dokie. And uh, it suggests using rice. I didn't have any dry rice. I've only got the packets of stuff that you cook. So um, you can try it with sugar or I have got some salt. So you just put your stuff on the top. And then the next thing is we need to 
basically use our voices and see what happens to the salt. I'm talking now and already, can you see some of it's moving? We need to be careful that we don't actually blow it off. So I'm going to move away so I'm not actually, my mouth isn't facing it. My mouth's now facing the floor. And um, the audio might get a little bit loud here. So you maybe want to turn me down a little bit, but I'm going to go, ah! <laughs> well, that was fun. I hope you enjoy it when you do it too. Um, have a go at experimenting with your voice going quietly, going really loud and doing it for a short time, for a long time. You could try doing it with salt. You could try doing it with different things around your house. Does it work the same? Um, yes, I really enjoyed that. <laughs> Okay, task B. We are learning to investigate how sound is affected by different mediums, solid, liquid and gas. So to warm up, give me an example of a solid. What kind of things have you given me an example of a solid? Give me an example of a liquid. What kind of things do you remember are liquids? And can you give me an example of a gas? Okay, so that's us warm. That is us warmed up for task B. So our main task, we're going to try out sounds underwater. So this is our investigation, seeing what sounds are like underwater. And it's a really cool one because we've been thinking a lot about the ocean, haven't we? For our new topic, are we fighting for or against the planet? So we're going to be listening to some sounds underwater and we want to find out whether um, sound travels quicker through gas, through air or through liquids like water. So you're going to need a big bucket filled with water and a large plastic bottle if you have one like a, a Coke bottle um, or a big water bottle. Um, you're going to need um, a sharp knife or scissors to cut the bottom of the bottle off. Please, please, please get help from an adult with that bit. And you're going to need something that will clang together. For example, kitchen um, knives or forks or spoons, something that will clang together under the water. And again, it doesn't just have to be those things. You could experiment with different um, objects and see what they sound like in the air, in the gaseous air, or what they sound like under the water. OK, so that's your experiment. You might want to read that a little bit further yourselves. And then if you want to take it further today, I have said over to you. Can you think of another way to investigate sound traveling in water? OK, enjoy. Have fun doing that. OK, our last task this week together. So task C for our sound investigations. We are learning to choose and carry out our own investigations. So this, boys and girls, is a chance for you to have a read of some investigations that I'm going to give you and you get to choose which ones you do. Now, it might be that some of them you've done before. It might be that you can't do some of them because you don't have all the things at home. Uh, it might be that you've even thought of your own experiments or maybe your clever mummies and daddies or whoever lives at home with you um, has thought of an investigation to do with sound as well. So you've got lots and lots of options. You don't just have to do what I've suggested, but they're there um, basically as a guide and to help. OK, but the learning objective and of what I want for you to do today is choose and carry out your own investigations. So it's a creative science task. So let's um, warm up. What have you learned about sound this week? And is there anything that you still want to find out? If there is, maybe you could let me know. Also let your families know too. Maybe they can answer your questions. So main task, it says look at the different experiments and choose at least one to try at home. So I've got eight here that you might want to choose from. There's the classic paper cup and string phone. There's the xylophone water jars. Number three, the balloon voices investigation. Number four, the rice drum investigation. Number five, the bottle organ investigation. 
Number six, the twanging rulers investigation. Number seven, tapping spoons. And number eight, the clapping investigation. Okay, and if you scroll down or you print them out, you'll see that they are all there for you with what you'll need and the instructions. Okay, so that's there for you boys and girls. But remember, you don't just have to use what I've suggested. Speak to your families and maybe you want to come up with your own investigations too. If you want to take it further, then I have said, why don't you try making your own instrument or sound maker by using your things at home? Can you play along to one of your favourite songs with your new instrument? I'm sure all your family would absolutely love that, <laughs> making a racket. Um, so that's our lessons finished for this week, boys and girls. I can't believe how quickly it went. Thank you again for working so hard. And I'm just loving receiving the emails with pictures and videos of your work. Thank you so much for doing that. And thank you so much for working so hard. Enjoy your um, lessons with Mr. Wise and I will see you again next Monday. We're going to be um, doing some guided reading activities to do with magazines. We're going to be doing some art together, thinking about topic art again. And we are going to be doing some maths together, some negative numbers and Roman numerals. OK, have a lovely weekend when it comes. See you next week. Bye.